In today's video, we're going to be breaking down a really, really effective little quick pass that franchise actually ran against Don't Care About Ice in the Jets Club Championship. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. Now, if you've never been to my channel before, I would highly encourage you uh, to click subscribe because what we do here is we upload four uh, videos every single day that are designed to give you some type of tip, tactic, or concept, some food to chew on. And sometimes that's content that we, you know, different plays and routes and combinations that we can create on our own. Other times, uh, we will learn from other people. One of the guys, um, or one of the things that is very great to learn from is some of these pro players as our club championships are underway and there's a lot of really, really unique and awesome things that you can learn from watching pro Madden players play the game and understanding why they do what they do. Now, uh, Franchise is kind of a polarizing figure in the Madden community. Um, I'm not saying necessarily I'm a huge fan of him or what or how he got into the tournament or any of that stuff. All I'm saying is you can learn from anybody. I believe you can learn from anybody. So whether you respect Franchise, whether you respect Ice, how you feel about the game, obviously Ice ends up winning this game by a ton. Um, and we're going to talk about, you know, the, the, the play we're going to talk about is something that Franchise showed that is actually really, really effective. The one thing I would say with it is even though it is effective, it is not something that you can run every single play. And I think the, the bottom line is I'm not sure that Franchise had the best game plan coming in. And I think that's what ended up biting him. The playbook he was running was really, really effective. Um, I think it's just kind of I, I would have liked to see him have better reads. I don't think he has the best reads as a passer uh, just from what I saw on the film. But he actually had some really, really good routes and really, really good plays um, that actually are fairly effective and so we're going to jump into one of the ones that i thought was really really effective now if you run the arizona playbook um you can actually mix this in to your offense as well i have the arizona playbook loaded up and i'll show you how it works but it's basically a concept that he found that's actually kind of cool um to be quite honest with you and it can really put your opponent in a bad position for uh defending screen passes now franchise loves to run this uh, college style offense and the reason I'm intrigued by that is because I obviously love to run the spread offense as well and so if I can learn anything from anybody I certainly will and uh, I actually learned something from franchising this game even though he took a big loss uh, we're going to dive into what he was doing and I'm really really excited so we're going to jump ahead here to where he gets the ball on offense and like I said ice destroys him in this game but there's one little thing one little wrinkle that you'll see right here and it's at this it's the first play that franchise runs and he's running the spread play, but he comes out in normal Y offset. But notice he comes out in the play flipped. As you can see, the tight end is on this side. Normally, he would be on this side. Now, what you're going to see is Ice is setting up his standard defense. He's in big nickel over G, pretty much like everybody else was in this tournament. Uh, big nickel over G, kind of the consensus meta defense, at least at this point in the year. And what you'll notice is watch this receiver on the left side of the screen. It looks and appears that um, ice is either in cover two man or cover two zone one of those two coverages and what you'll see at the snap of the ball is this snap throw the ball out there the corner blitzes off the edge and ice or uh, franchise gets a huge gain um, goes for about uh, 70 yards right uh, or not 70 yards, about six, 50 to 60 yards on that play alone, okay? And so what I wanted to do is I wanted to break down that play in practice mode for you and kind of show you what's going on. So I've got the same scenario loaded up in game, and uh, I am in the normal wing, or, or I'm sorry, the normal Y off in the errors, or I'm sorry, in the gun spread playbook, okay? So this is gun normal Y off from the spread playbook, and it's called the pass balance playbook. And the play that I'm running is the little FL screen to the left, RPO screen to the left side. And what you're going to see here is I'm going to go to cover two man. And I'm going to do what everybody does out of man coverage. I'm going to man line. I'm going to press. I'm going to shake coverage outside, shake coverage over top. And then I'm going to user this guy right here and then probably run purples with my safeties. But for right now, we'll just keep them uh, in the deep halves. And I want you to watch the corner on the left side of the field. Snap of the ball. And you'll see he's going to blitz. Blitz is right off the edge, and I have that same animation that Franchise is able to have. Third man-to-man -man coverage, he completely blitzes off the edge. What I want to do now is I want to flip the play, and I want to show you. So this is, if Franchise were to come out in this stock, right, if I were just to come out in this, you know, and just run this to the right side of the field, you'll notice a difference, okay? And this is where you get some really, really good lab work from Franchise on this play, or at least his crew. Snap of the ball, throw it out there, and you see... That he's gonna, the corner's gonna blitz, 
but he's then going to recover. You see him recover there. That's huge. That's a huge difference um, from what we saw on the left side. I'll show it to you one more time. On the right side, if you run this screen to the right side, this corner is going to come down, and then he's going to recover, and it's going to be a pick six every time, as you can see. From man coverage, man coverage will completely box it. Now, I just want to show you, if I run this to the left side of the screen, and I'm going to do you know whatever I need to do, but anyway, I'm going to run it to the left, and watch. He blitzes. Now, that is a concept that you can now apply, not just from this formation. I want to show you something else. I want to show you, um, I want to show you uh, cover two. So let's say they come out. Let's say they come out in uh, cover two blitz, right? This is another popular tactic. People come out in cover two and they'll send heat from it because they'll basically take away the underneath, force you to make a quick read. Well, if someone's doing that to you, you can go to this little play right here. Watch the corner. He's going to blitz again. Blitz is right off the edge. Easy get out, and that could be a one play touchdown against cover two. You see what I'm talking about with that screen pass? Now, um, now what you're going to see is let's say they go cover three. Okay, everyone likes cover three, and let's say that they put the corners in deep halves. Watch what happens now. You see, the corner doesn't blitz this time, but because he's going into a deep blue zone, it's easy for the tight end to be able to make that block, and it's easy for the screen to be able to work. Let me show you uh, cover four, right? We're, we're in cover four palms right now. Now, cover four palms probably going to do the best against this because it's a match coverage. What you'll see is that tight end's going to be able to make that block. You get out there, and you're going to get, you know, five to ten yards quick in a cloud of dust. Now let's say, well, what if they ran like cover three, and what if they, what if they, what if they put their hard flats out there? Well, let's just take a look and see what happens. You'll see the hard flat's gonna blitz, hard flat blitzes, and as you can see, we're gonna get out and we're gonna go. Now, I want to show you really, really quickly how to stop this. It's very, very simple. All you have to do as a defensive player is pass commit. So I'm gonna pass commit from that main coverage, and what you're gonna see on this left side, he's gonna sit out there, and it's gonna be a pick every time. That's all you gotta do. All you got to do is pass him and it stops it. But if someone, if you're playing someone, you catch them in a no huddle situation, maybe they didn't get their adjustments in time, whatever, they're not, there's, you know, if they don't pass commit, they're not going to be able to stop it. But as you can see, if they do pass commit and it's from, if it's, and it's from a uh, cover two or cover two man, they're not going to be able to, you know, they're not going to be able to run this. Now, I want to show you one thing also off this though, um, and that's again, cover three sky, hard flat. It's not going to be the same, as you can see. They're going to have to be in some kind of cover two, or they're going to have to be in some kind of uh, cover two man coverage to be able to stop this. They're not going to be able to stop it if they if they just pass commit out of a cover four. So, like, let me show you. I'm going to pass commit. I'm going to cover four zone, snap of the ball, and as you can see here, the tight end is going to be able to get a get a get a chip block. It's going to work a little bit better out of cover three. Now, if you are like me and you run the Arizona Cardinals playbook, I actually have a full entire guide on the Arizona Cardinals playbook and I break down literally everything you need to know. I have one play touchdowns against every single coverage in Madden NFL 21. But what I want to show you right now is you can actually run the same concept. It's not just from this formation. That's the key. It might be best from this formation, but it's not just for this formation. I want to show you, for those of you that run Arizona, um, if you don't run Arizona, I have the full guide available in the description. It's got over 125 pages. comes with my full 4-6 defense as well, um, and it's just a very, very effective guide. Let me show you this play from the gun spread Y slot in the Arizona Cardinals playbook. RPO read screen. Now, what I'm going to do, is I'm going to flip the play just like that because, again, we want this to be ran to the left side of the field, and we're going to recreate the same uh, basic scenario. So what you'll see here, cover four palms out there, and here we go. So let me show you. First, we'll start with man-to-man -man coverage. So if I'm in man-to-man -man coverage, you see here it's the RPO look. Now watch what happens. See how the corner stays there, and he's able to come down on the ball? Okay, perfect. What I'm going to do with this and I'm pretty sure this will work, I'm going to motion my tight end to the left. As you can see, it's going to bring him into a tight end position. Defense goes into man coverage, and now we've basically recreated the same look. The corner on the left blitzes just like we wanted it to, and you're going to see that's Hollywood Brown in open space. If you do a good double juke or a sop and go, you're going to be able to beat it. So you have the same concept from spread. That's what's really, really cool about the uh, Arizona Cardinals playbook, in my opinion. And you still have everything else you can do from this. For example, we might run PA read, right? PA reads a very popular concept for me out of the spread, out of the air raid. And now I can run this with a little tight end whip route that's unbumpable, 
And as you can see here, this is going to get open against the cover four palms defense. So hopefully what you're seeing is this one little nugget that we've taken out of franchise's game, we can implement into our own game. And now what this is going to do, let's say they run cover two, right? Let's say they run cover two. It has to do with the way they defend in the run fit, basically. But as you can see, if I, don't, if I have the tight end flexed out, the corner is going to stay there. The, where it changes is when this tight end is a tight end, when he becomes a tight end. Now, let me just show you what happens really quickly. Let's just say that we, let's just say that we motion the tight end all the way to the left. I just want to show you. You see he blitzes again. You notice that? Notice the corner blitzes again on that. If I motion that tight end all the way out. Now, if you have a Lamar Jackson, this actually becomes very valuable because let's say you're in cover two man, and let's say they pass commit. Okay? So I'm going to pass commit, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to motion this tight end to the right. And you see that the read defender is now gone. All I have to read is this corner. Does the corner stay or go? The corner stays, okay, Lamar's going to get out of there, and he's going to go. That's what I'm trying to show you. This, the reason, it, it can really, really matter um, for how they're going to defend. Because, let's say they go cover two man, they pass commit, the whole nine. Now that, since there's no read defender over there to hold Lamar Jackson, Lamar Jackson basically can just run right around, as you can see. He can, he can get out and he can go. It basically becomes kind of a quarterback wrap almost. Um, and you'll see here. So then, you know, what's going to happen? Okay, well, there's no def read defender. You motion this guy over. Now watch. This is just a QB read play. This is just a QB read play. You see that right there? There's no read defender. There's no one to stop Lamar Jackson if they man a line out of big nickel over G. Now, a lot of times what people are going to do out of big nickel over G, um, just so it clears, they're going to do something like this. So they're going to have this little uh, player here on the left here on the left side in a deep blue zone so I'm gonna do my same thing I'm gonna motion Andrews to the right now watch what's gonna happen here it's kind of a, a little bit of a mismatch here but you'll see that you're gonna be able to run it right down the middle the other thing I want to show you really really quickly so you can do that with like a Lamar Jackson or a mobile quarterback what if I don't have a mobile quarterback what do I do well in that situation you know what I would recommend is basically and we're gonna we're gonna pass commit here just so you can see this um, but what you're going to see here, you could obviously hand it off. So now you have a buck sweep power run to the right. Um, but at the same time, if this guy crashes down, see here, just a power run, simple three man, um, uh, just a simple outside zone run that you can run, um, that you do have access to. So I do want you to see all of this and how this comes together. But this is really a chess match of a play. Uh, it's something that you can kind of mix in. It's not something I would run all the time, but it's something that when you run it at the right time, it can really be good. You see here, if I have a, if I have escape artists, I can run that right down the middle of the field and you know get up and go. I think escape artists will soon be uh, in mutt. More people will be using this um, escape artist tactic, especially um, once we get an escape artist that can have gunslinger. But as you can see here, now let's say they, um, you know, in, in a scenario like this, you know what they might do is you know again here. Just run right, and then I can run power to the right with a QB, as you can see, just a simple one cut, and Lamar Jackson's out. So if you have a mobile quarterback, this could really become viable for you. This could be a really nice little wrinkle play. Um, even if you don't have a mobile quarterback, like if you just catch them, like seriously, if you just catch them, just motion this tight end right into this pocket right here, and snap of the ball and go. Now, again, that right there was cover four palms. Now, one thing I do want to show you is cover zero. I don't think I talked about cover zero yet. Let me show you cover zero because cover zero actually um, does okay. So this is cover zero, and um, what we're going to do is we are going to um, we're going to pass commit first just to show you. So we're going to motion the tight end left. This is cover zero. Snap the ball, and what you'll see is the corner comes down, and he's got it. Basically, he has a box. Like, there, there's not much you can do. If they pass commit out of cover zero – you know, you're going to have a little bit of a hard time. Now, what if they don't pass coming out of cover zero? I just want to show you really quickly what's going to happen. Motion that guy in, snap the ball, and you see how the corner is going to come up. So against off coverage, it's actually better. Off coverage is actually better against this play. Now, most people won't run off coverage because when you run off coverage, you're going to have a plethora of other things you can do. One of the other things you can do within this play is you can motion uh, sneak, and you can have a little hitch, right? You can throw that little hitch if you want to. If they're, if they're running... Uh, if they're running a lot of man on you, um, and this is why that's significant. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So if they go to if they go to strong safety blitz, right? Let's say they do that. Just motion Sneed to the left to the right like this. Put him on a smart route to hitch route, and then just back him back up. 
and then all you're going to do is you're going to take Andrew's motion him to the left. So you have your same capability. It's just now you have hitches on the right. You have hitches on the right. So if they run man, you can easily pop that hitch, that little five-yard hitch, little quick hitch. If they do that, then you do this kind of formula that you can now add into your scheme, right? Um, I could do something like this, you know, motion Boykin across, and, you know, if they're, if they're not running, you know, they're not running a disciplined defense, this is just going to be able to do that. Um, this is just a natty play. It's a play that you can go to in those situations. But what I absolutely love is the ability to be able to uh, basically get the corner on the left side to blitz if they don't pass commit. Literally, all they have to do is stop it. It's just pass commit. Um, you know, but again, this this play when ran at the right time against the right defense can really get you a great result. So shout out to Franchise for finding that in the lab. It was a very good play. Uh, unfortunately, he did not get the W. And um, I think you know certainly people aren't necessarily happy with the way that he got into the tournament. But and I'm not saying that I am either. Uh, I don't really support that. But what I am saying is you can learn from anybody. And the screen that he was running in that game was very very effective and i think that if you're running the arizona air raid offense it's definitely worth learning from because you can apply that to your own offense and you can actually reap the rewards of a very well labbed up play that franchise was able to and his crew was able to put into action but anyways guys uh, obviously like i said franchise ended up getting blown out of this game nowhere close to the skill level of ice at least in this game it didn't seem like so um again Money play is just that. It's a money play. It's not a full scheme. You have to scheme around this play for it to be able to be very, very effective. So when you wrinkle this play in with the other plays from the spread formation, you'll find a lot of uh, reward from it, and I think it will actually help your offense tremendously. So that is how you can really, really run a nice glitchy screen from the Air Raid offense. Now, if you want to get my exclusive tips every single week that are typically 45 minutes to an hour long that go into the extreme level of detail, of what the best players of Madden are doing and also what we're doing as well and showing you um, gun bunch full guide, big nickel over G defensive guide. Um, we've got a Minnesota Vikings uh, playbook guide. We've got all of these uh, great things, cluster guide as well. And the one we just released was a split close Patriots guide. Uh, shoot me a text message. You can join my text message membership 100% for free. And if you want to get the remainder of this Arizona Cardinals offensive guide, like I said, it's the my opinion, the best offense in Madden because of the route combinations that you can create on the field. doesn't need any abilities whatsoever to run it. You can run it with the worst team in the NFL, and you can also run it with the best team in the NFL. This offense is incredible. It takes people who can barely learn how to pass for over 100 yards, and we've turned them into over 500-yard passers, have taken people from you know not even scratching the surface of the top 100, and now they're consistently hitting the top 100 every single week with this spread offense. So I'd highly encourage you to uh, pick up that guide it also has my uh, nickel 335 and uh, 46 defensive ebook as well with it so you get two guides for the price of one and that is in the description of this video thank you so much for your time i really appreciate it and we'll see you on our live stream tonight at 10 o'clock p.m eastern time